The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 249 pounds, Ricky Ozik. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. We are about to see something good. And his opponent, from Canada, weighing in at 241 pounds, John Tulos. I won't pretend this competitor hasn't done some exceptional things, but I am not referring to them by the new nickname they keep pushing. Seriously? I think the name, the absolute best ever at this, no questions asked, is a totally reasonable idea. You would, wouldn't you, Corey? Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. And he's going to use that anger against his opposition. Stakes can't be much higher in this two out of three falls match. Really is a definitive statement if you come out the victor in this one. You can tell these competitors are already feeling each other out and trying to find a path to that crucial first fall. He goes for the cover. One. He throws a shoulder up before two. He might have been putting the cart before the horse with that pin, but it was worth a try. To the neck, it's a neck breaker. This could do it. One, two, just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, stomping away. Able to reverse. Uh oh. So much damage inflicted. His shoulders are down. Squeeze that shoulder out so close. Well placed kick. Specifically targeting the leg. Corey, this type of match can be torturous. What goes into a superstar's preparation? Physical conditioning and mental focus. You can't take anything for granted when you're up a fall, down a fall, or it's tied 1 1. I think you use the rope a dope technique. Let your opponent expel all their energy in the first fall. Then you catch him. You're the only dope here, Saxton. You never let your opponent hang around for the sake of getting them tired. If you can beat him, you beat him. Oh, that can dislocate something. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Like neck snap. If this works, it could change the course of the match. He's positioning himself, closing in. From the top, double axe handle connects. Elbow drop. Yeah. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, and that buys some time. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Uh, 
This can't go well. There it is! That's his go-to move. Can he finish this off? After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? He's flatly desperately trying to get out of this situation. A oh, great count. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. And an easy fall for him there. Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, face first. Avoid contact. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? I think we are witnessing a career altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor. And I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Dragon Sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, face first. And the cover for the win. One, two. And he fights it off. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? There it is. Will this match end? Submission on a tap out. In this much pain, even an iron will might not be strong enough. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something yeah. bigger later. Gets him with the counter. From behind. contested match show up get the w and get out not a bad night's work i'd say